A circular plate of 60 mm diameter has a hexagonal hole of 20 mm sides centrally punched. Draw the projections of the lamina resting on the HP with its surface inclined at 30 degrees to the HP and the diameter through the point on which the lamina rests on HP is inclined at 50 degrees to VP. Any two parallel sides of the hexagonal hole are perpendicular to the diameter of the circular plate passing through the point on which it rests. Draw the projections. Given data and conditions. Circular plate of diameter 60 mm with a hexagonal hole of side 20 mm. Resting on HP on a point A of circumference and inclined to HP at 30 degrees and resting diameter inclined at 50 degrees to VP. Two parallel sides of hexagonal hole are perpendicular to the diameter on which it rests. Draw the reference line XY using 2H pencil. Mark VP and HP. The circular lamina is resting on HP on a point A of its circumference and a hexagonal hole is punched on it. The surface is inclined to HP at 30 degrees and also inclined to VP at 50 degrees. In this position, first we have to assume circular lamina with hexagonal hole is resting on HP and after that we have to tilt the plate such that it makes the inclination with respect to HP. After that, we have to change the position of plate such that it should incline to VP. Thus, the given condition and given inclination can be obtained. Draw a circle of diameter 60 mm below XY line using H pencil and divide the circle into 8 parts. As circles do not have any corners, we have to indicate the points by dividing circle into 8 or 12 parts using 2H pencil and name the points as A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. As we assume that the plate with hole is resting on HP with its surface perpendicular to VP, we can see the true shape and size of the lamina plate in top view only. Then draw the hexagon of base side 20 mm such that two of its sides should be perpendicular to diameter of the circle. Name the corner points of the hexagon as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Mark the dimension of the circle using H pencil and with symbol pi and also for the hexagon. Thus, the top view of the circular plate with hexagonal hole is completed. Then the front view of the plane is the line which can be seen as straight line on the XY line as it is lying in HP. Project all the points from top view to the XY line and then draw continuous thick line joining all the points. Then mark the points in front view as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash and H dash and also 1 dash 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash and 6 dash with hidden points within brackets using H pencil. Thus, the front view of the circular plate with hexagonal hole was drawn in simple position. Then tilt the front view to an angle of 30 degrees 
and reproduce it such that one point should lie on the XY line and name the points as A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash, F1 dash, G1 dash and H1 dash for circular plate and also 1 1 dash, 2 1 dash, 3 1 dash, 4 1 dash, 5 1 dash and 6 1 dash for hexagonal hole. Draw horizontal projectors from top view corner points A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and also vertical lines from front view corner points A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash, F1 dash, G1 dash and H1 dash and 1, 1 dash, 2 1 dash, 3 1 dash, 4 1 dash, 5 1 dash and 6 1 dash. Mark the points where both these lines intersect and name the corresponding corners as A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1 and H1 and 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1. Join all the points A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1 and H1 as continuous thick curve and 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1 and 6, 1 as continuous thick line using H pencil to get the top view of the circular plate with hexagonal hole punched on it, that is, inclined to HP. Then we have to tilt the top view to an angle of 50 degrees. That is, both ellipse with hexagonal hole should be inclined to VP angle pi as follows. Enclose the ellipse in top view which is obtained in previous step in a rectangular box and measure the dimensions of the rectangular box that is, length and breadth. Draw a line below and from XY line Inclined to an angle of 50 degrees, reproduce the rectangular box of ellipse on this inclined line and mark the points of the ellipse on this rectangular box by taking the respective distance from the previous position and name it as A2, B2, C2, D2, E2, F2, G2 and H2.
Similarly, mark the corner points of the hexagon by taking the respective distance from the previous position and name it as 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2 and 6, 2. Join A2, B2, C2, D2, E2, F2, G2 and H2 as continuous thick curved line using H pencil. Join 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2 and 6, 2 as continuous thick line using H pencil. Draw vertical projectors from top view A2, B2, C2, D2, E2, F2, G2 and H2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2 and 6, 2 and also horizontal lines from front view A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash, F1 dash, G1 dash and H1 dash, 1, 1 dash, 2, 1 dash, 3, 1 dash, 4 1 dash, 5 1 dash and 6 1 dash. Mark the points where both these lines intersect and name the corresponding corners as A2 dash, B2 dash, C2 dash, D2 dash, E2 dash, F2 dash, G2 dash and H2 dash and also 1, 2 dash, 2, 2 dash, 3, 2 dash, 4, 2 dash, 5, 2 dash and 6, 2 dash. Join the points A2 dash, B2 dash, C2 dash, D2 dash, E2 dash, F2 dash, G2 dash and H2 dash as continuous thick curved line and join the points 1, 2 dash, 2, 2 dash, 3, 2 dash, 4, 2 dash, 5, 2 dash and 6, 2 dash as continuous thick line using H pencil to get the final front view of the circular plate with hexagonal hole inclined to HP and also inclined to VP which gives the apparent shape. Thus, the projection of circular lamina with hexagonal hole is drawn as per the given conditions.